Uh, my name is Ahmed Salem. I'm from the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Our patient was a middle-aged uh, Caucasian female uh, with decreased vision in the left eye for two weeks, being referred from her local uh, retina specialist. Her medical history was not revealing and her social history was only revealing of cigarette smoking and occasional alcohol intake. Examination, her vision was decreased only in the left eye down to 2060, otherwise her intraocular pressure and tear segment examination and pupil examination uh, were unremarkable. Thomas' photograph of the right eye uh, was rather unremarkable. The left eye, the most striking feature was pigmentation in the macula and orange coloration, as well as very mild uh, disc edema and blurriness of the edges of the disc. Uh, this is a white field image of the left eye showing uh, some um, inferior uh, mid peripheral uh, cori retinal scarring. OCT examination of the left eye shows a disruption of the outer retinal bands as well as thickening uh, of these layers. The pathology is mainly involving the inner side of the retinal pigment epithelium as well as the photoreceptor layers with some involvement of the external limiting membrane. OCT scan of the right retina was normal. Uh, this is a frame of the thoracene angiogram of the arteriovenous phase of the left eye showing areas of central hypofluorescence surrounded by uh, areas of mild hyperfluorescence and this is a close-up picture of the fluorescein angiogram. This is a list of possible differential diagnoses of this patient including mute MP, acute macular neurotinitis, as well as some infection-related uh, choroiditis as TB and syphilis. However, the most likely diagnosis in this patient uh, phenotypically is acute retinal pigment epithelitis or Crohn's disease. Just some background information about Crohn's disease, which is a rare self limited disease that can affect one eye or two eyes uh, of a patient. Um, most patients are young to middle aged adults, and there's no uh, sex predilection. Uh, recurrence is rare, and usually, most patients recover to near normal acuity in about 6 to 12 weeks. The pathophysiology of uh, Crohn's disease is unclear. It might be due to a defective phagocytosis of the photoreceptor outer segments by the RP layer. Supporting uh, this uh, thought is that on the OCT, the most affected part of the retina is the inner side of the retinal pigment epithelium as well as the photoreceptor layer. The external limiting membrane can also be affected, but to a lesser extent. The diagnosis was initially uncertain in this patient, so she was treated with systemic steroids. She did reasonably well with recovery of 2020 version within one month. This is the OCT of the patient at uh, presentation, and at 10 days and one month with near full recovery of the outer retinal bands. Thank you so much for your attention.